stuff, but there was a cow looking like it was using tall wooden legs. And it would hear from time to time to say, like, yeah, I know you can do it. You have my trust. When I was little, I had a tree outside my bedroom window. And the moonlight spread its shadow across my ceiling. And sometimes when I woke up in my groggy state, it looked like spider webs.
Johnny Bergdahl sponsored the channel. Johnny Bergdahl celebrates 41 months of membership. Time flies. 41 months already. From beneath the sand Don't stick with me Cause seems so far away Across the universe She lives on all the day I know the reason she's here I know the reason she's so far away Hi everybody. There is no music. You're kidding me. Can you hear me? Hopefully you can hear me. The music is not too loud. <laughs> Hi everybody, Johnny, thank you for 41 months, not 26. It's it seems like Stream Elements doesn't know how to count. Um, hi Pedro, Alonso, yeah, uh, don't be like me. I'm unfortunately always broke. Uh, but that's a different story. There is music, unfortunately. I will be, I will, I will lower it hopefully now it's lower here okay uh hey uh, hi bird cage uh, thanks for saying hi so um today we'll be talking about this one here um some of you may have noticed actually some even posted the comment on the stream that the item is no longer in stock it had the, the 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 big bar on top saying that this item is out of stock and not will, will not be restocked etc etc i managed to talk with the author yesterday so he is going to make a push for one last batch after that he will not be doing any more uh, access points today we will be looking at that one i haven't for me it's it, music is still too loud better like this okay Hi, Ian. So, um, yeah, it's now back in out of stock mode, meaning it's still not in stock. The author is currently picking up. If you want to buy some, uh, uh, type in the quantity that you, how much, how much of the gateways you want to buy, 
and leave your email address by the count of all the people that are interested in. He will then produce one last batch and this will be it. There are also other, other gateways or access points that you can um, buy or create. I mean, depending on how things go to them, I really do hope that they will be great. Um, there are also uh, um, uh, source files available to build your own uh, PCBs, order them from wherever, build your own devices, flash them, etc. Um, this is actually one of the things that I'm thinking of maybe doing if this all goes well, just, you know, uh, uh, to see if I can. Uh, hi, Rob. Hi, Norway. Hi, Rob. So, uh, before we dive into it, I saw, I saw Claudio here and he posted the Voron uh, thingy. Uh, let me just switch to this screen here. I'm actually uh, building, uh, I'm actually building, I'm actually printing. I've been printing, last Friday we had a stream unboxing of the GDQ1 Pro and um, that evening and the following day I printed things in the PLA. Then I switched to the ABS and since then uh, I've printed for 58, almost 59 hours. This is without current print. Um, couple of rolls of, a uh, couple of spools of filament. Today I switched to the accent color, which arrived yesterday, I believe. Uh, I ran out of ABS, so I had to order some a black ABS and also this accent one. I'm printing parts for Voron. That's what I wanted to say. And before we dive into Hi, Davor! Uh, <laughs> I thought all foreigners in Norway are Swedish. Um, so before we dive into today's project, which I didn't, I've, I've shown the picture of that on Twitter. Uh, I bought it, it arrived, I think, about 10, 15 days ago. I didn't turn it on. My idea was to go together with you on this stream to see how easy, how easy it is to set it up, to get a couple of the ink, uh, ink displays working, uh, price tags, and then to hook it up to Home Assistant. Maybe Jonas, who's the author of Home Assistant Integration, will be joining us today on stream uh, in the chat. We will see uh, if he manages. Uh, so before that, let's just, let me just show something to Claudio, which arrived today. I didn't post still no images on the, what is this background small? Yeah, two boxes. Um, so first is this one here. It's Fistec, 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 Fistec kit. This is a Nevermore V6, two motors, a Vago connectors, cables, and we have here nuts, bolts, heat inserts, uh, those T thingies for the, you know, for, the, for the case. And I also have the, oh, how it's called, uh, filter, uh, carbon, whatever, filter. Yeah, my brain is working less and less. So that's one thing. Uh, which app am I using right now for exactly what? For the for the streaming, for the printing. And this is the second thing that arrived today. Voron Disco for 2.4 Vorons. I think it's it looks it looks a bit short, but I think it's okay. So these are the two Voron uh, digital addressable uh, LEDs. I will be replacing W LEDs that I have on my printer for those here. Oh, Johnny! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works better. Once again. So these are the these are the these are the <laughs> Voron disco lights. Uh, two of them. They can be stacked together. I will be replacing W LEDs with them. And for printing, uh, I'm using, this is a fluid interface directly on the printer. It's a, it's a uh, GDQ1 Pro running Clipper and it has a web interface, it's called Fluid. Pedro is here, Pedro is actually doing the, the maintenance and development of that, so yeah. Uh, and let me just quickly show you the, the, the Nevermore, Nevermore V6 kit. So these are the these are the filter bags. 
two blower motors, cables, cables, wagon connectors, normal connectors, and everything else. Yeah, 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 correct. So, um, on last stream, I also showed some other things that arrived for my Warren printer. I'm also considering now to replace I'm actually replacing. I think that the only thing that will remain on the printer is the hot end, which is new. It's a Revo Warren. Uh, stepper motors, I think, are still okay, especially the stealth burner, which I, replay, which I replaced a year ago. I'm actually... will be most probably replacing majority of things on that on that printer and rebuilding it not from scratch but partially from scratch especially since i'm changing the accent color from red to the galaxy purple which my daughter decided would be a nice color for it so yeah these are the two new items that arrived today i don't think i'm expecting anything else for the warren currently except maybe the mcu depending if my mcu will support the, the leds directly or not as i said i'm using esp32 now with the wled control but we are not here to talk about that we are here actually to talk about this one i've showed this on instagram a couple of occasions uh and twitter and hopefully we will hey daniel uh, hopefully we will manage to get this working. I know that at least first part wouldn't or shouldn't be difficult. That first part is, of course, getting the gateway up and running. Uh, once again, this is a printed case, but I think that this is SLA and it's not FDM. It's a resin print, I think. It's awesome. Um, can I open it up? Sure. Should I open it up? That's a different story. Oops. Uh, so we have two uh, boards. ESP, I think one is 32C6 and the other one is ESP32 Room 1. Um, these are the programming pins. I don't know what this is. Small screen. There are a lot of different gateways that you can find on the internet for e-paper and this is something that I've always been interested in and uh, I have a list of I have a list of projects that I I have on my to do or whatever list and the integration for the e-paper hey Vic integration for the e-paper uh, or open how it's called I I I'll, I'll forget the name uh, open e-paper link blah 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 project is on my to-do list for a long long time but it required some kind of gateway and I, I really tried to find the, the what to buy and I wasn't sure what to buy what how can I not put this back oh I can um, okay and by some miracle um, by some miracle as I said, this is this was really a long, long time on my to record list. I have a lot of to do, to record lists. Uh, some are, Jesus, I'm 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 unable to to get this back inside the box. I told you I shouldn't. I told you I shouldn't touch it. But no, I had to touch it. No, not like this. Yeah, they, these are the two ESP32 boards. Um, the reason is that uh, one is using one frequency to, 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 if I'm not mistaken, sorry guys. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the access point for them. Uh, the one is using uh, uh, Wi-Fi module to be able to talk. Oh, it goes like this, then it goes like I'm afraid to break it. Uh, one is talking. Ah, concentrate. So one is talking with the Wi-Fi network, and the other one is talking to the displays. Uh, that's why it has two modules. Actually, it can be programmed also to use uh, to 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 to. Uh, oh, yeah, it, it works better if you turn the audio on. Uh, so I know I've did a couple of times. Okay, I, I give up. I'm 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 idiot. I'll fix it later. 
So, um, let's change to this one here. What we have to do is provide power to it. When I said let's change to this, I meant I'm opening myself the documentation page. Uh, but the only thing I actually had to do, if there are a couple of things, you can order pre-assembled kit. If you order pre-assembled kit, everything will be pre-flashed, connected inside box. Uh, you just need to provide power or you can uh, buy parts, uh, finish some things on your own, flash on your own. Um, there is also option to get the flasher. I decided to go with the basic flasher kit, which requires you to assemble it. I will print one additional part for this. But currently, I don't have any additional or any displays that are already not pre-flashed. So these are pre-flashed displays. Um, yeah. Uh, documentation. Let's click documentation. Wiki building flashing usage. Connecting the flasher cable. Actually, there is there is there isn't that much to do. We really should just provide power to it. Let me change the camera so you see something. Oh, if I connect the cable, it looks better. And now it says I need to connect to it on the access point via the address this and this. Let me let me try to zoom on the screen and see if you can see it better. Now you can, oh, you can see it like this. Let me just connect to it. So I configure my Wi-Fi connection. Uh, I have, you don't see it here, open ePaper. Connected, obtaining IP address. Still obtaining IP address, connected, no internet connection. Will it pop up automatically or not? Let's see. Nope, it's, oh, yep, it's popping up. Tap here. Yes. Nope, I have to open the web browser by hand. It's 192.168.4.1 slash setup. And here you have to specify the SSID, password, static IP address, subnet mask, gateway, and DNS. Let me quickly do that. That doesn't look quickly, but give me a second. Okay, it did recognize my networks. This is my password. This is my password. Static IP address. Hmm. Uh, just give me a second to think of something. 192.168.148. No, 21. Subnet mask 255.255.252.0. Gateway 192.168. Yeah. Typo. And DNS will be Google DNS. Hey, Jonas, you're here. Uh, save Wi-Fi settings and reboot. The static IP address is 192.168.121. Wi-Fi settings saved. Go to the access point web page. I don't know if you can see it here, connecting to the Wi-Fi, and it says that it's currently on the Wi-Fi 192.168.1. Come on, zoom. 
Logitech. Oh, like this. Let's open it up here. Stay. 1 and 2.168.1.21. Come on. Just give me a second. Oh, yep. Opened up. That's my daughter coughing. So it says online text one pending data, low battery timeout. I, I have never, ever seen this UI. So let's check it out. We have probably here currently active tags. Last seen 20 seconds, 29 seconds ago. We still have to wake up those. Expected check-in in 20 seconds. Access point information. This is the IP address. Channel is 11. One tag is visible. Custom version. Tag flasher. Uh, on the back side, it has pin for the... for flashing. Let's go to settings. We have to go to settings. Alias, auto, Bluetooth disabled, LED. Let me let me zoom this in. Let me zoom this in. So alias, channel, automatic, Bluetooth disabled, RGB LED brightness 50%, TFT brightness 100%. Let's let's lower it to 75%. Save. Is it better like this now, Vic? Uh, short and sorry, sorry. Maximum sleep shortest. So this probably has impact on the battery life. Depending on your implementation, you could move this from 40 seconds to one hour or something. Short and latency during configuration. No updates between. Oh, this is nice one. For example, between between midnight and five o'clock, I don't want to have any updates. Preview images. Lock tag inventory. Uh, when locking the tag inventory, the access point will only show tags that are all in database. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Wi-Fi power. And we are using Central European time, which is okay. Save. We can reboot access point, download tag database, restore tag database, update, and do Wi-Fi configuration. Noise, noise, noise. So, um, next thing we should do is we should uh, open them up. Tags. <laughs> Just a second. Yeah, my dog was barking. I'm actually alone. My wife is away on the trip. Uh, my daughter, younger one, went also on a school trip. She will be returning tomorrow. And my oldest daughter, she has her headphones and doesn't hear when I yell at her. But that's typical. A tag database, I'm not sure. Okay, so I can guess at this point. It's probably database of all the tags because each tag has its own ID. Uh, so I presume that some of that data is kept in this database. 
not something that you normally should or could need to, to, to look at or open up, but this is my presumption. And I'm probably making ass out of me. Hmm. Well, give me a second. I think that this is how you open them up. Nope. Yeah, shock. That 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 would really help. Building the flashing blah 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 blah. Building the access point. Blah blah. Carl and Safa subscribe to the channel. Can you actually hear those notifications also, or am I only the one hearing them? I'm not sure if it's working or not. Okay, but still, let me try to open this one. I don't know why it's not, why it's impossible to open them. So you can hear, okay. Come on. Okay, this one is not completely closed, so let's try and open this one up. There are two batteries inside. So there are two batteries. I think they are 24, no, 2450s. And since this is e ink display, it will stay on even if uh, you remove the batteries. The database, the database, the wiki says that the best way to discharge it is to flip the battery other way and just insert it. It will short the the it will short the connectors and should deplete it. I don't see that it is depleting it. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I apologize. I actually see two screens. Let me kill it so I don't see the second screen. Sorry, 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 Rob. Sorry, Rob. So yeah, um, these are the two. Each display uses, some, depending on the type of the in, in, in display, you have two batteries. These are the programming pins here. And this is why I got this programming jig, so I can reprogram proper blah, 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 reprogram them if needed. Uh, so yeah, uh, it says that to, to be able to discharge the batteries, you should shorten this contact and this contact. And the easiest way to do it is do it like this. But I don't see that everything is staying the same here. So let's presume that it just didn't let's presume that it just didn't uh, uh, refresh the screen so the easiest way to get this working again is to position batteries like this and then insert both at the same time and yay Looks like we managed to do it. Found the following access point. Access. If I go now back to the system, I see here. You don't see here. I see here that now I have two tags. Nice. This is the new tag. Alias. Let's 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 let's. I'll write here one. And for example, I will call this one a bathroom. 
content, static image, current date, current time, count days, current weather, let's call that location. No problem. Uh, current date. Let me let me switch to this one. That's this screen here, and uh, let's click save. Bathroom, it is sending current date, waiting for data. Expect to check in is 26 seconds from now. So in 26 seconds, the display should be uh, updated. Noise. So, um, you can see now, you can see clearly now the Fridays here. So, um, maybe since you all know that I do 90% of my content that I do is around Home Assistant. I have a lot of displays. I have at least five displays that I didn't do videos on because, and I'm sorry for that, they are great displays, but simply they are just too plain. Um, I know that a lot of people are using tablets on walls to display information and to be able to control uh, data from a home assistant. My personal opinion is that smart home shouldn't need interaction in terms of touching somewhere, because if you're touching display, you can touch the switch. If you're touching display, you can touch the remote. So most of the things should be done, should be done automatically or automatically. Um, and displays or audio should be used for notifications so that you have data available at a glance or that you receive notification that front door is open. You don't need to walk to front door to receive notification. You need to hear it or, or see it somewhere. So that's why I actually think that e-paper displays such as this one, these are actually price tags, uh, but sh those displays should be really perfect for everybody to have different sizes, uh, black and white color ones in each room. And that's why we'll be in next step looking at home assistant integration. I actually forgot to, I actually forgot to uh, open here the, 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 the display. So you see potential if we can actually pull, push information from home assistant here. So what could you have, for example? For example, you can have that in, in, in bathroom. Uh, during normal day, it would tell you the temperature that is currently inside the bathroom and humidity. Uh, so you know what is the current temperature. But if you have upcoming events in the calendar, change display to show what's your upcoming event. Or for example, uh, in kids' room, do the same. Uh, show them their uh, tomorrow's uh, uh, agenda for school. Um, on your desk, it could tell you what, are, what is the upcoming meeting. If there is, uh, if you're leaving home, uh, it can show you if there are door or windows open. So the idea is to create very complex automations that would then update the screen based on the current need for the information to be presented. Okay, so we now have first display working. Let me quickly switch back to the to the uh, access point. I want to show you because there is preview also on the access point side. So this one here, you can see that this one that I called bathroom has this preview that shows you the current day uh, and and uh, date actually. Account days, nights, no, not interesting, current weather, location. Let's try it like this, Zagreb. Uh, oh yeah, oh, oh save so as i said um this by itself is already really a huge thing because it enables you to manage i think the the, the limit is around 250 uh, displays from this access point but then when you add the possibility to integrate it inside home assistant it it really opens up and and can can do much more so this is the this is the this is how it looks after the with stock weather information zagreb currently 
20.8, sunny, and I think this is a wind direction or whatever. And, and so potential for screens like this is really, really, really huge in, in smart homes, I think. So, okay. But the next step is, as I said, I started talking about talking about that, but I never finished it. Uh, so um, I have a very long list of things that I want to record videos on. So there is a list of home assistant integrations. Some of those integrations don't require you anything to do. So you don't have to have any additional service. You don't need to have additional hardware. Those are the things that actually everybody can use out of box. It can be hacks, but I'm here talking about internal home assistant integrations. For example, uh, uh, DIN DNS or, or NameServe integration. For that, you just need to use free service from names, uh, NameServe.com uh, and it allows you to update the DNS information on the name server DNS servers. Then you have integrations such as, for example, uh, this one here that actually requires you to have some kind of hardware. So this is one, this is for the internal home assistant integrations. Then I also have separate document tracking all the hacks components. So some are the front ends, some are the integrations there. Uh, most of them don't require anything extra. Some require, for example, uh, vacuum cleaners, media players, Sonos speakers for Sonos card. This one requires these cards here. So this is actually integration that's, that's been on my list This here from Jonas, he is here on the stream. Um, this has been on my to-do list for a long, long, long time. And one day, I think two, two and a half months ago, Jonas uh, contacted me on the Discord. And I said, wow, he, he told me about, he's the author of that. And I said, wow, because that integration is already on my to-do list, but I don't know where to start. I don't know what kind of equipment I need. I know that I need those paper e-papers or the, the electronic uh, uh, price displays from shops, but what kind of gateway I need? Do I need something else? How do I program them? So he sent me the link to this Tindy shop um, and the next batch was supposed to be released in February. I went on the, I, I subscribed on the waiting list, uh, but by the time I read the message notification that the items are back in stock, uh, the item was actually already sold out and the author said the owner of the tindy shop said that the next batch will be beginning of the, the beginning of the march so i once again joined the waiting list um uh, jonas was kind enough to offer me to send something i said no i really want to have this i want to buy it those are all the projects that people do with their own money they do sell them but actually uh, uh yeah there is it will be it will be it will, I think it will display. This is a ghost. This is e, e ink displays, unfortunately. Sometimes shows these ghosty thingies. So I said no, because I know that those people are actually, you know, funding their own projects, building everything from their money. They do, they do sell items, but they don't make millions out of that. So sending even one display is extra cost. And I managed finally, I think it was like, 30th of Mar March, the first, the next batch arrived. I bought everything. This is this gateway plus four tags plus this basic kit for programming. And I was really, really happy to have it. So um, next step for us is to install it. As far as I know, this can be installed via the hacks. Yes. So let's open one of my instances. I will be using uh, let's say green for this should we go for green or green green let's go no let's go for yellow let's go for yellow okay so this is my yellow no and let's go to green because i like the new hacks but i'm still not officially in my videos using the new hacks uh open e paper link let's click on it download download the latest version at the time of the recording of this video is version 0 0.4.7.8 
Did I remember that correctly? Uh, okay, it's been downloaded, but since this is integration, we will need to restart. Yeah, go to developer tools, check configuration. No, we don't need. We'll just press restart. 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 And while it's restarting, let's go and check the documentation. This is integration for the open e-paper project. Feature request and code blah, blah, code contributions are welcome. Functionality sensor. Every sensor of the tag is exposed to Home Assistant. Every tag and the access point is exposed as device. So on one side, we will have everything inside Home Assistant. We will be able to track that there. But on the other side, we will on the, on the other side we will also be having uh, option to create new service calls and push data from Home Assistant to text. This is actually not the only the only Home Assistant integration there is. I think I have another one here. Oh, this one here. It's called Open ePaper Link HA Weatherman. Uh, there are tons of different sizes of this place. I think this is one. This one is mini, 1.54 inch. Then you have 4.2, additional 4.2, 2.9 displays. So there are different types of displays. Hey, René, bravo. Uh, but as I said, I currently have only those 2.9. These are these ones here. I I. If this all works out as it should, I really hope to have to, to find somewhere and buy those larger displays to test them out. And uh, as I mentioned, when we finish everything up, if everything works correctly, I will also be releasing video on that. Like, a, like I usually do is like talk about it, quickly go through the installation and some simple uh, automations. Let's see if Home Assistant has restarted. It actually has restarted. Not completely, but it is currently restarting. Do, 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 do. Let's go to services and let's see if we have open. Open. It's currently not here. Maybe we have to go to settings, integrations, add integration. Open e-paper link. Yeah, but it's still starting up. Okay, it started. <laughs> Just in time. Then we will reset all the other all the other ink displays. And as I said, you can push to each display different data. You can push all data or or single data to every display you can play with it and as as much as you can and i really think that this is powerful because the shelf life for those batteries yeah i think is around two years so these displays can be powered on two batteries for two years let me refresh this screen oh host ip one nine two one six Eight one twenty one submit. It's here. Finish and that's it. Uh, open e paper. We have one device, eleven entities. It still didn't sync everything up. Let's give it a bit more time. Okay, while, while this is doing its thingy, let's switch the camera once again. And we have display number one. It still has ghosts image on it. And let's continue trying open this here. Okay, let me 
zoom this camera, zoom, move this camera a bit out. It should probably fall down. I hate my setup. I hate my desk. I would, I would, I would love to be a millionaire to be able to just replace everything here that I have for recording and, and streaming, etc. Well, finally, Home Assistant updated everything. I'm afraid to break things here. Okay, once again, we have two batteries. I will insert the battery on the reverse side. We will wait for a couple of seconds. It's once again saying that it looks like it lost connection with the access point. Oh, but it does now show two connected devices. One is called bathroom and the other one is the access point. But everything became unavailable. It actually did pick up everything for a second. Let me get the battery out put it like this whoa starting nice i'm doing it like a pro this one is still dirty uh, these are all tags that are actually used. It's it's very hard to find new ones, but you can find on eBay shops selling those tags as used tags. Um, let's give this tag number two. And let's call this one chicken. Sorry, kitchen. Uh, where is it? Uh, new one. Chicken, kitchen, content, oh, no, nope, this one, alias, content, let's here put mm, QR code, no, this one will be kitchen, it will not be QR Let's think of something. Set tag, send command, image preload. Uh, let's put here current day time. So this, this one is kitchen. While we are waiting for kitchen to update, let's just give me a second, please. My niece asking, am I bothering you? Uh, I'm in the middle of the stream. Okay, bye. Stephen Ludgate, subscribe to the channel. I don't know how to change the volume of this notification, sorry. But then again, I'm very happy that it finally works. So we now have two displays here working. One is displaying weather, the other one is showing us current. Come on. You need two tools to open it up. Okay, once again, pop it the wrong side up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And no, I, I never ever in my whole life played with any device like this. Um, like this, no. Similar, yes. I worked at the paging company at some time. 
Nope, it looks like this one I didn't manage to didn't manage to wake up. <sighs> I've been sent repeat. Yeah, it's like beginner's luck, you know, first two I tried worked perfectly, then the next two I will probably never ever reset. Uh, there is also possibility the batteries are, mm, I, I, I wouldn't say depleted, but very low. That's also one possibility. While we are waiting for this one to deplete, let me open the last one. I really would like to hear, I know that there are some people here on the stream that probably are just lurking in the background and are actually using this. I really would love to see for what people are using them. By the way, there is a, I will post um, here the link to the Discord. I will post link to, I will post link to links. Just give me a second. Um... It's open, uh, the... Uh website is openepaperlink.de Deutschland. I'll post this one also in chat. Give me a second. So it looks like this. Yeah, if first two it worked. First two it worked great, and then. <laughs> This is the third one, it, meant it didn't. So there is a link to GitHub. Uh, you can uh, see wiki, install, and there is also a great Discord server. I'm, I've just joined it today. Uh, I've just joined it today, but I've, I've, I've browsed through a lot of categories. There are really awesome projects, awesome ideas there. But my main focus here is the, uh, here is the, of course, Home Assistant. Let's also okay this one should be depleted by now i guess let's try it once again Inst there is this and then three two one nope this one once again didn't work Let me switch the screen. So this one once again didn't work. Let's try the other one. Nope. If you're wondering, or anybody wondering why they're in reverse order, because that's the easiest way to make sure between those two contacts here. And for some, to me, unknown reasons, they have to be powered at the same time. That's why we have to insert batteries like this. Once again, it didn't wake up. Sixth time charm. Let me just for the sake of whatever, see what are the batteries like. I don't have spare, not for 2450s. I don't think so. I don't have my glasses here either. 
these are how much these are these are three volts yep Yeah, I, I think that batteries could be, these are, this one looks okay, it's three point something. Yeah. This I would say is low one. This also is low one. Let's try these two. These two batteries look like they are. Better than those two. Let's try it. Let's just be sure to short everything out here. As I said, those first two, really, it was like first try. Yep, yep. Okay, the third one is also booting. Waiting for data. Yeah, the batteries are, those two batteries are lower than they should be. Um, let's go to mainstream, let's go to this one here. This is the new tag that just popped up. Um, if you're wondering, so we have two displays. We have one that says the, the date, calendar date. The other one says the weather. Uh, you can see the difference. These two are 2.9 inch displays. This one is TFT. This one is actually access point. We can give it a name and call it access point just to be able to, you know, distinguish between them. And this one, we have bathroom, kitchen. Let's call this bedroom. And for now, we will... Weather forecast, location, Zagreb, uh, Celsius, yep, every three hours, uh, let's say at mm, every, every hour, let's click save. So now we have three displays running, bathroom, bedroom and kitchen. This one still hasn't updated, it says that expected check-in for this device is in 35 seconds. So every one minute it is currently set up and this can be set up or changed here shortest is 40 seconds five minutes 10 minutes 30 minutes one hour and this one should now be updated let's yep it just updated oh background small this one here and as you can see, we have here the small forecast. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, the wind speeds, I presume, wind directions, icons for the rain, storm, and we have minimum and maximum temperature. So let's one more time try these two. But as I said, the batteries are probably low. Um, this is also a warning from the, from, from the seller. Um, he is flashing all the devices with the, with the firmware that he's able to connect to this access point, but he's not checking the batteries. The batteries are as is. Some may work, others may not work. Yeah, it is. Uh, we are actually having a meetup here in Zagreb to, tomorrow uh, and I've reserved table for 15 of us in the garden. It will be nice. I hope that those those th people in the restaurant changed it to the internal table last time they did it. But yeah, oh, let's one more time try to get this working. If not, I will go out tomorrow and buy the batteries. Nope. Unfortunately, no. So, okay, we know that I have to replace battery here, but at least we do have already three displays. And I really do 
hope that all of you see potential here for home assistant integration and we are talking about really really small screens so these can be you know you can have bunch of them around the apartment you can print the case to to you know have better looking case than this one here but this is really 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 big potential in my in my opinion let me remove this piece of junk oh and by the way for i don't know if anybody from zagreb is here uh who will be joining me tomorrow but besides the son of thingies that arrived last week that i've shown on the previous week gifts for everybody who will be attending the attending the uh, meetup where is it now please You will not get a free stomach. You will get t-shirt, home assistant, my smart sidekick. This is the new design that I've made. I've paid to get made for, for this event. Okay, so now, as we said, we have three displays working. Let's go back to home assistant. Here we have information. Database size, X point, record count for running online system time, blah, blah, blah. And then we have four connected devices. We have kitchen. This is the information about the kitchen display. Then we have bathroom. This is the bathroom. And We have, I think this one is bedroom. Okay, so this is the, this is the first thing. Uh, now we should start playing with this one here. Example call, open e paper link, tag name, and then we create something like this. Let's, let's try it. Let's copy it here, go to developer tools, services, open, can't type, open e-paper, uh, Drew custom. I think this is, this is, this is something that is recommended. Go to YAML mode, go to UI. Uh, choose entity and let's push it to bathroom it should create a rectangle a rectangle a rectangle red white outline will be red field white white width will be five this is the coordinates then it will create a red line inside will be hello world text using this ppb.ttf uh, true type font hey Aaron it is nice to play with it and it will it's using MDI material design icon library to display account cowboy hat so if everything is working if I now press call service if it doesn't fail when the next time it updates let me change to this one here I think we push this one to bathroom yep let's go to gateway do i have to change something here yep well um mm, maybe for a bigger screen it does have a if you look at like this it's hello world and the cowboy hat person with a cowboy hat but it's for larger screen let's try to tweak it uh, rotate 270 ttl uh, let's let's reduce size to let's remove rotation let's remove rotation 
then this one will be too big we'll let we'll play with that but let's also reduce the size of the fonts to 20 call service you're not missing anything i was playing here so i i i reduce the size of the text to 20 and i remove the rotation uh, so that we can look at the screen like this let's go it like this expected update will be in 27 seconds click media and go to in home assistant click media and uh, go to cameras you will see what the image will look oh nice uh brain freeze Ooh. okay it's much better but it's still not better i didn't know about this one camera so there is a camera preview it's awesome it makes things much easier to to play with um mm, 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 mm. yeah it already also updated the screen and it does match what we see here okay so let's start from the beginning let's now try this background white uh payload type text hello world x y set and we will Put this black uh, X will be thirty, Y will be zero, size will be forty red. Let's remove this rectangle. No, let's remove this rectangle. Line width will be, let's say, two. Start x, 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 zero, y, two, three, seven. No, x can be zero, y can be, let's say, 24. I don't know how many pixels it is. X and So at zero, zero, four, then 196, 240. We don't have 240. Let's put it like this. Call service. Let me open another instance here so we can quickly jump and see the camera. Um, two, and we said this is bed bathroom. Okay. We are doing something, but still not good. We have to lower the red line. We can lower the hello world a bit. Let's uh, move. Okay, let me let me do it like this. So I know what I want to do. I want first to have the text. Hello world. X will be. X will be two. Y will be 2, size is 20, then we said we had line, but Y should be 24. Uh, 24 icon should be lower, uh, let's say uh, Y um, 40, uh, X. 20 call service two ninety six by one twenty eight. Oh great to know. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So two ninety six by one hundred and twenty eight. Two ninety six two ninety six. So end is two ninety six great so this is full line uh, 
it looks a bit better, betterer, betterer, betterer. We are making progress, aren't we? I'm sorry, my eye. Let's wait for the next update just for the line to fill the screen. And here it is. Hello world, line underneath and the icon. So yeah, the, the the this is the this is actually a really awesome thing. I'm I'm not sure um, why is the uh, Jonas? Maybe you you know Jonas? Maybe you know why is preferred not to use not to use uh, 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 four line display, five line display as they are deprecated. Instead, it's recommended to use draw custom. Let's let's test this one here. Ah, this one is using lines for. No, no, and and this this is not intended to be used by some something that is critical in terms of seconds. Minimum this minimum update is every forty seconds. It's actually update every one minute, so. I wouldn't use it as a fire alarm notification, but for whether it's open doors, open windows, um, information about next meeting, <coughs> current energy use, uh, to, to warn you, to, to give you notification what kind of trash should be taken out today, calendar calendar notifications, things like that. I think that it's it's really awesome for purposes like that. So this is still working, but it's actually deprecated. Let's try it. Let's try it. So... Okay. Uh, okay, I have a living room. Um, I don't have, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was thinking about testing because it, it, it looks like it's easier than to play with the, at least for the testing, for the testing purposes, it looks like it's easier to use those line thingies instead of using the, instead of using the, my brain instead of using the coordinates here if it already knows what the lines are um i will push this one it's it's it, it will not be able to do half of the code yeah the service request fail uh, requires payload yeah uh it's not drive draw custom it's all uh, lines four lines four Fail to call service open error rendering template valid. Okay, yeah, yeah, because I don't have I don't have those sensors. Uh, let me quickly replace it with something I have. Uh, do I have here something for the electricity? Oh, I do. Uh, let's, for example, say what uh, source? What is it using? Uh, SPM SPM zero one SPM zero one. Okay, let's 
use this one here. State of charge. I don't have anything for state of charge. Um, let's remove this line. Yeah, yeah I, I'm sure. I'm saying just, Steven. I, I'm not saying that. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not saying that it can do. But for the, for me, that it's starting, it's much easier here to see result than trying to guess the coordinates, etc. Uh, when you are into it, probably using coordinates is much easier. Uh, much easier than than this one, but service request failed. Line four is missing, so it needs line four. Line four empty. Call service. Okay. Uh... Attributes total. Does it have attributes total? It doesn't have attribute total. Okay, let's let's just remove that part of the code here. Uh, how it's called? Uh, st uh, Mm. Well, let's start with this one. I don't want to. Okay, this camera should now. Nope. Uh, oh, uh, target. Failed to call open service line four. ID was not found yet. Please wait for display to check at least once. How it's called, how it's called, how it's called, how it's called. Uh, has to be ID, not the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've figured that one out. <laughs> uh, I'm looking. Okay, 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 okay. Christmas countdown for instant results. No, I'm looking. I, I, I don't know if you've been here when I, when I, uh, when I was talking about this one. I already showed this one here. So let's try this one also. For the video, I will be creating couple of couple of different automations. By the way, uh, uh, if you think that everything failed? No, it didn't fail. Here is the result of the custom thingy that I did. So this is the time. This is the living room temperature current, empty, empty. So four lines of text. It's nice also to show that you can do black on white, white on black, red, white, uh, probably red, black, etc. Now let's install this one here. Um, by the way, I'm also I'm also planning to do the Madalena thingy. Uh, Open e paper Weatherman. So it says we should do following. Uh, I've read it somewhere. Installation add font to config media. Let me download. Code download zip. Now let's open the zip file. Uh, chaos on my computer, just give me a second. Uh, I'll be extracting this to folder. Nope, of course it extracted only one file. OK, 
Okay. Now give me a second. I need to, what I need to do? I need to open here, go here. I will do it like this. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Uh, so what I said, let's go to documentation. Let's see what, where we have to copy thingies. Installation, add fonts to config media. No problem, no problem, no problem. Let me find file here. HA weather. Font is here and here I have Visual Studio code. We set media folder. Do I have media folder here? No, on this instance, I don't have. Um, 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 Just give me a second. What? Hmm, something strange. Okay, let's create, let's create folder called media. I will copy this TTF file. I, I'm sorry, I know that you don't see it here currently. Something strange is going on here. Okay, so we have here this file. Let's do it like this. Then we have to then we have to add template sensor to configuration YAML file. Let's look at the template sensor quickly. HA configuration. Okay, trigger time pattern, la 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 la, forecast, get forecast. And doc tag. What is this? This looks like automation. Trigger action. Copy this inside configuration file. Template sensor. Um, where are my template ses sensors being kept? Do I have them inside? Nope. Um, okay. That goes there. And that app that goes here. And that goes here. Wow. 
Yeah, problem is that it's nesting. It already has this one here. Uh, it will not work like this. I will have to reformat everything. Uh, you said you have Christmas. You had. You said you have Christmas one. Yeah. Yep. 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 You said you have also Christmas one, which should be simpler. Uh, Christmas countdown. Oh, let's go to that one. Countdown days till Christmas. Installation font we already added. Add automation to new automation home assistant. Add it in YAML and then copy everything. Let's copy this one here. Let's go here. Let's go to settings. Let's go to automations. Create new automation, empty automation, edit in YAML, replace everything. Yelma subscribe to the channel. Yeah, this save the paper. Yep. And we can we can trigger it by hand. I didn't see. Five minutes. Run. Oh, I didn't change. Idiot me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't change. Uh, draw custom. We have to change this one here. We have to change this one to match this one here. I presume that if we match the text that it should work. Click here and I can also press run and we can go to this one here. Let's see if it it passed it it, it passed. It did pass. It did pass. No. Tag ID. Tag ID. Yeah. No, 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 no. I did set the tag ID. Let's. So every couple of blah blah blah. We use draw, use font this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I change the tag and it should change it. And it did change it. It's changed. 250 days till Christmas. nice uh for the other one i have to i have to see uh, my problem with my home assistant is that i'm keeping my configuration split in files and i have to play a bit with the code to get that one working but this one really worked like like this okay so we have here counter till christmas now let's play with Tag two. Yeah, I know. Sorry for that one. I, I, I it's like it didn't work for two years. I stopped streaming for six months. Now it started working. Like, yeah. Uh, okay. So what? What did I say? What did I say? Let's go back to the weatherman. And I have to figure out how to how to fit that one inside my configuration file. Let's see if this will work like this. So these are the binary sensors. Yeah. Block. Yep. 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 yep, yep. Um, click what's up here. It's 
no it's inside this one so trigger creating binary sensor for nuki then we have sensors then we have everything but it should in theory work if i add it here yep I have moon phases. Forecast entity in the main. Okay, it ha can put some kind of forecast. I have hourly and daily forecasts. So I have moon phases set. I have sun. That should be okay. It looks like it looks like it should. A JPEG file on the tag. Um, what did you have in mind? Like, like doing it here? If that works, if that works, if that works, it looks like it will work. It does work. If it does work, it's like, wow. Wow. It is doing something. It is pushing the upgrade. Upgrade. Update. It will be like this. Like this. Nice. That's really awesome. This is so sick. I really love it. I, I need to get larger. I need to get... I need to get larger display. <laughs> this is really sick. Oh, okay. I, I read the documentation, but I didn't really see that one. This is like... This is... This is really awesome. Uh, by the way, a uh, weather one should also be working now. Let's see if we can, if we can, if we can get that, that, that working. So I did now this. Let's find the automation for 2.4 screen. Where is it? I really like, I really like this, is, this is awesome, really, I, this, I didn't have clue about this one. Johnny is everywhere. Well, we thought that would be a bit too much. So I do have, I do have this integration, I have met and O, I believe. Let's check it out. Da, okay, yep, yep. Um, I do have moon, I do have sun, I believe, in this system. Yep, sun. Okay. Script to find weather home, so let's see how mine is called hmm. I got home okay that's correct uh, and now I have to Okay, I will do it. Just a second. I wanted to check. I know that I've seen this one here. I want to see what is the automation. So this is the automation. Uh, and you said to you said to go in this code and change. 
Nope. Time pattern every one minute. Okay, let's go to developer tools. Polyam configuration. Uh, and let's go to settings, automations, create automation, create new automation and copy the code from here. I bet you can, yeah, you are right. There is probably a way to play Doom on it. Doom on it. You can play Doom on everything. Come on. Uh, and what is this one? This is number three. Number three is number three is I forgot. So we have this one. This one it's called bedroom. This one is bedroom. We need to push this to bedroom. Bedroom, 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 bedroom. Open the paper. Um, bedroom is this one. Run. So in theory, the automation has run now. Not supported in the instance, none. Uh, uh, Debugging, 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 debugging. I changed it. I changed it. I changed it. I changed it. I don't get it. So this one, okay. Good idea. No, it has it has two tags oh, sorry two automations but this now it doesn't exist let me do it like this let me do it like this give me a second Just a second. It's starting up, it's starting up, it's starting up. Since two days ago, we have a new pet at home, actually. My daughter, the youngest one, decided that she wants to have a lot of other pets, not just the dog, so we ended up buying goldfishes or something like goldfishes. She's of course went 
it's cool on trip now I'm the one in charge of walking the dog and also taking care of the fishes okay uh, let's see now let's see now Python trend, okay. Nope. I'm actually having a hard time with uh, my DIY. It's not mine. I, I, I build it, but it's not mine. It's DI Ruse. Uh, Guy the Miller counter Zigbee 1. I think that the biggest issue is this one here. It has a space inside the topic and there is no way for me to currently fix this one. It will probably be easier for me to rebuild, create a new one, which is actually something that I want to do than to try to fix this one. Okay. Yep, it has error with the, it has error with my it has error with my um uh, dang Yep. I will have to I will have to play with, with, with this one on another system. My configurations are really a mess. My configurations are really a mess. You know, you do something and then five years later, you, for the life of me, I cannot remember what I did and why I did things like that. Uh, so if I go to configuration YAML file, templates are inside temples, yeah. templates YAML file. I presume. Where is it? Templates are inside templates YAML file. Inside templates YAML file, I already have this trigger and then I have sensors. So, what I would have to do is I would have to convert this. Yeah, I would have to convert this, move this inside the. Move this inside. I would need to move this inside the first section, then sensor moved into the sensor section. Let's let's quickly try and do. If I mess it up, I will I will fix it after the stream. That's that's no biggie. So copy this, move this to this one here. Paste it, but I have to like this. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's the issue, and I have everything split, so that's the that's the issue with me. Uh, Mark, I I I actually, as you can see, I'm I'm 154 <laughs> pending changes on my recording setup. My main setup is very clean, but my recording setup are such a mess. I'm not sure if this will pass now. If I have trigger platform. This action is part of this, and I'm not sure if this will work or not. Let, let's 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 do it like this. Let's test it. We have nothing to lose except time. And at my age, and by the way, last week, not last week, so on this Tuesday, I celebrated my 51st birthday. So 
I cannot say that I have all the time in the world, but I do still have some time. Open e paper. Okay, I've added this one here. Then inside the sensor section, this is sensor, sensor, everything here is sensor. Yep, everything here is sensor, so I can remove this. Just add here tag, do it like this. Come on. Yeah, debugging online, it's like, it's like, What's going on? Why didn't it? What's going on? Oh, it did. Let's test it now. Thank you, Steven. Thank you. Um, um, what can go wrong if you do stuff live? Bit Looney never does any mistake live, right? Check configuration. Okay, templates line two, line fifteen expected but found. Blah 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 blah. Let's leave this screen here and let's change to this screen because I think I will be pressing reload configuration a bunch of times. Um, painful face is present once again. Okay, so something is wrong here, and I believe that this... So we have platform. This section here, I think, is the problem. Action. I'm not sure how actions inside... What is the error? Uh, line 2, column 5. Line 2, conf. okay, and then we have line 19, 5, line 19, yeah, this is the issue. <laughs> I know, Johnny, I know. I do try to read, I do try to read the chat. But I actually, nah, nah, it's, it's, I'm, I'm thinking about buying the, I, I hate Elgata, they are so expensive, but they do really have cool equipment, but spending like 200, 300 euros for the prompter is terrible idea i i want to move my camera somewhere but i'm not sure if you would prefer me looking down at the camera this one is too high but if i if i buy teleprompter i can move the um chat on the teleprompter so i look directly in camera and see the chat but then again this is like my second third this is like third stream this year previously we had streams every two weeks now yeah There will be more streams. I'm actually planning to do almost for the like next four, five, six weeks. I'm trying. To, I will be doing one stream a week or something like that. I want to do, but that that will be building the the 3D printer related stuff. Uh, this one, this one is issue here. Uh, platform time pattern. What if I what if I move this? What will it then say? No, it starts. Well, actually, it's. Um, I'm not sure if it will. It will load it. Let's open a third window. I do have here like dozen windows already so one additional window wouldn't be the issue yeah and I have to replace that one battery four five zero I think I maybe have one, but we need to 
finally it reloaded this. Uh, what we said, we are looking for weatherman sensor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did it live. I did it live. <laughs> nice. Okay, I really, I really, 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 really didn't think that I would be able to fix that one so quickly. Nice to see it fixed. Okay, let's go to services, automations. Uh, um, run. Let's go here. This is this one here. This one should change. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, no, it, it is not. Um, just give me a second. I think that this one, I think that this one, this one, I didn't change the, or did I change the, I did change. But still it didn't update. It's not pushing the update here. Hmm. Okay, confirm that uh, every 20 minutes of every hour. We don't care actually about that one for now because I'm, I'm triggering it by hand. Um, confirm the time is, this should be okay. Um, service open, we are using that service, bunch of data, bunch of everything is here. Um, and then we are using zero, zero. Um, Nope, device is bedroom. Bedroom. Yep, this one should be. It, it should be this one. But it's not doing anything. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check. Uh, let's check traces. Error rendering data template taper error not supported between instances and untyped and where? It, it, it would be awesome if it would say at least like line after line 150. The weatherman data tag. Weatherman data tag. Let me let me let me let me check once again the sensor. Weatherman data tag. Everything is nulled. Everything is nulled except the sun next rising, sun next setting. So it's not picking up. It's not picking up any values from the mat integration. But it is here. Well, let's restart. You know, I, I'm Windows, typical Windows user. Let's just restart Home Assistant. Everything is better after restart. Maybe that will fix it. I still have to get, I still, while well, it's restarting, I still have to get this back in case. I, I'm afraid to break it. Let me, let me unpower it. It should go first here and then snap inside. It doesn't snap. What if I do it like this? Oh, look. And I was trying to do it like 20 minutes when it started streaming and now it finally just popped in nicely okay back in case nobody see nobody has seen anything it's been in the case always we didn't remove it from the case everything is working nicely 
connection lost, reconnecting. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm using, this one is um, Home Assistant Green. It takes a bit longer to reboot everything. Nice. Just a second. Just a second. I do have a lot more weather sensors. Let's see. Let's see. It's, it's finishing up the update uh, restart. So let's let's give it a second. Yeah, it's not picking anything up here. Sorry, family drama. Like not a good drama, like a comedy drama. I will try to change I will try to change the weather sensor to something else. No, it's not, but the frequency frequency it's actually using very similar frequency, Alonso, so that's why it's using one ESP board to uh, I'll do it in a second. Um, it's uh, it's using one ESP board to communicate with the standard Wi-Fi and then the other ESP board is used to communicate with those devices. And there is also, the author says that you can actually reuse that other board and do some other protocol, yeah. For example, Zigbee. It's like empty. It's strange. Okay, let's go to, let's go to automations editor. Oh, we are already in automations. Uh, no automations. We are not going to automations. We are going to the studio code. Uh, time pattern forecast. Blah 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 blah. It's uh, uh, yeah. Uh, forecast entity, forecast entity, forecast entity, forecast entity, and forecast entity is forecast entity. Where is the forecast entity equals for the and I can type in the full name of the forecast entity, right? Instead of this one here, because I have multiple ones. Um, um, Sorry, yeah, I'm slow. <laughs> I'm slow. So replacing this, I don't like to do it. I, I, I have, I'm, I'm crazy, but I like to do it like this. What now? No, it's okay. It's not bad. We'll leave it as is. Um, and then we try to reload. Or reload. Uh, template entities. And then we go to states. Quotes. Uh, 
I would figure it out after probably 20 minutes. Okay, and this. Okay, let's try it once again. This one, I think. No, no, this one is okay. It's aligned with this. So this is okay. This one is aligned with this. I moved this inside. I've added one. Yeah, this is okay. Alignment. This one can be ignored. Because if I move it, if I move it here, it will fail. Um, it will fail because it needs to be under this platform part. Okay. Um, weather dot home. We have. We have weather.home. Uh, let's click on it. Okay, so we have weather.home and we are using this here. So this is also okay. So if we go once again to YAML, once again reload. The only thing that can be issue still is this section here. Forecast entity, whether you get forecast type hourly and then daily. It's doing update to the forecasts. Let's check if if weather was updated. Let's check if weather was updated. Can I see last updates? Nope, it didn't update. So it's not updating. Template entities, it's now 8 1 pm. And the last update was 9 54 52 when the system started. So these two are actually not running. These two are actually not running. The question is how, where, when do I move them to still stay under this one? Single quote. Let's try single quote. Okay, this part is okay. Um, nope, still didn't update. It still didn't update. Let's let's trigger the automation or run. And now let's see if it nope, it still didn't update. So it's not running the update. It's not running this part here. I have to figure out how to get this part here working. Hmm. Alonso, thanks for being here. Yeah, it, this is, yeah. Thanks for joining. Um, hmm.
it's it's good when you don't have a life. I actually don't have anything to do tonight. I've already seen all the episodes of Fallout. Silo and Foundation are still not out, so I don't have anything. Oh no, no, this is okay. This is okay. This is okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. This is okay. This is okay. But this part here, it's not. It's not. It's not loading. Templates, templates. Let's go home assistant template sensor. Okay, template. 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 So we have template, we have sensor, but we have triggers. So we have trigger, we have sensor. Where we have action, action. So it's calling this trigger, but it's not doing this action. We have trigger, we have action, but we don't. So that, that's the catch. This, no, this is this is inside automation. That's the catch. We have trigger. Vic, you're faster than me. Um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that one, Johnny. <laughs> Grr, template trigger. Okay, so we have time pattern. So after we do time. Oh! Hmm. 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 That's the catch. So this everything should be moved to separate separate template sensor. And how do I? Can I? Let me let me do it like this. Oh, you're still here. What if I do it like this? What if I do it like this? I'm just I'm just brainstorming here. Um, we add another trigger. What is here? Come on, remove this. What if I do it like this and add another trigger here? Would it pass? Nope. 272, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292. Okay, then I move. Then I, then I, then I what? Then I add this here. Nope. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. So we have nope. Okay. Nope. Um here. We have trigger. Under trigger we have action. This one has to be dented like this then. Then remove this. Move this like so. Nope. 282. 282. This is this one here. So we have trigger, we have trigger. Mm. I'm not sorry, Johnny, I'm not sorry. Bye once again. My 
Uh, okay. So there was a mention of breaking changes on the weather forecast in 2024. On the this is this is something. This is this is this is here is the problem of my configuration, and we will do it like this. I will now once again replace everything here with the original. Then I will. Then I will change weather forecast section Okay, so let's first see if this will fail or not. Nope, it's not failing anymore. Then we have to replace this with here. We said we will... This will be disabled. Instead of it, I will be using forecast entity. Uh, weather home. Okay. Everything else should be the same. Let's check configuration once again. Let's reload template entities. Let's go to states. Um, dang, let's let's restart home assistant. It helps settings. The 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 issue here is the Nuki integration. And actually, on this system, I'm not even using Nuki, so I could remove Nuki and 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 it should work then. Uh, on the other hand, I don't know if anybody here is using actually Nuki Lock. Um, a problem is that I we are here at home. We have Nuki Lock. We have Nuki Opener. We are using Nuki Opener. We use like twice a year Nuki Lock because we don't usually lock the doors. Don't don't ask. It's Croatia. We are strange here. Um, and um, I've been contacted by the by the author of the original Nuki uh, alternative integration. They've ported it now, and it works without hub, so you don't actually need hub anymore. You can do it over the ESP32 with the BLE or Bluetooth. Because of that, I can actually remove Nuki from this system because I need to record video on that too. It's also on very long to-do list. Those Chinese companies, by the way, I'm, I'm like going all over the place, you know, if you know me, you know that I jump from one topic to the another. I love, uh, I love, I love Chinese companies. So, um, give me a second. It's like, it's like 20 boxes, 30 boxes here. Okay, so I got, let's move all this further away. I got this box like a month ago. What's happening with mouse? They have nice creams, but it's always like, like it's always 99% great and then it misses one of the functionalities so the screen is great this is Elgato for you it like glued it's 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 glued it
Edinson. Somehow, somehow, it unglued itself. This is this is that's why I hate all that. No, I I like they have really good really good products. Let me just kill this camera here because somebody will get sick from the motion. You know, all of those things cost and they're not cheap. Like it's like I don't know. It's like I think that those arms here are like 40, 50, 60 euros. Fell out. It's glued. It's press fit and glued. Come on, Elgat. I will make, uh, if I remember, I will make a clip of this and then send it and post it on Twitter. Yeah, they are really. So, uh, what I wanted to say is, the system in the meantime did restart, but I wanted to show you something. So, um, I got this screen from them and they want me to do video on them. But it's like, you know, doing video just on screen is very boring. But in theory, this is awesome screen. So, it's like paper thin. It's great to be installed inside the inside the uh, uh, drywall. Uh, you can mount everything on the back side, so it can go from Raspberry Pi zero W three four five whatever you want to mount, you can mount it here. Uh, it's touch screen. Um, it has onboard power for the Raspberry Pi, so finally they thought of you know you just need one power cable. And it will power screen, electronics, everything. So, so far, so good. It's like, as I said, it's, it's like paper thin. You can glue it, which is okay. Not such a good idea to put it on a drywall. Do you know what's the catch here? 720 pixels. And look at the bezel. Adi, so uh, if a the resolution would be like a, like 1080p, okay. But for such large screen, I think it's a 10 something. I don't I don't know where. Well, give me a second. No, it's 11.6 inches, so it's really nice screen. But come on, look at the bezel. People hate bezels like this. It's it's really really big bezel. Resolution is seven hundred and twenty, which people will get triggered. I know that yeah, we were talking here about screens like these which have low resolution, but when people buy something to put inside the drywall, like touch screen or display or something, they want to have better resolution and thinner bezels. And not to mention the screen arrived like this partially missing paper on the back side here and cables were missing in the box okay so the point is they wanted they sent me this and they said will you be making video i said listen i have such a backlog of things i want to record videos i'm not sure when i will be making it they said okay we will send you whenever you have time if you decide do video on it so i said great then they said then couple of weeks ago they sent me mail saying oh just wanted to check if if it arrived or not said yeah it arrived the box looks like it was opened the device looks like it was used there are some cables missing but that's no problem uh yeah that would that, that if the bezel would be smaller that would look awesome on a wall but with such a big bezel it would look really bad on, on white wall so i said it, it device looked like it was open device looked like it was used i don't have problem with it but uh, i also do re record unboxings and the cables were missing inside which were listed as part of the box 
they didn't tense or anything. Then two weeks later, they said, did you did the, did the box arrive? I said, yes, once again, I did arrive, blah, 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 blah. Sure, where will be the video? I said, I don't know. But when will be the video? Listen, I really do not know. But when will be the video? I just want to send it back. Yeah. Um, there is also one good alternative I had here on my wall is the old screen from the from the laptop with the controller board from Aliexpress and I, I put it inside the IKEA frame and it worked perfectly. It doesn't have it didn't have touch screen of course. There were options to buy touch screen for me, but yeah. Uh, but back to the back to the back to the main topic. Back back to the back to life, back to reality. Sorry for sorry for rent. Um, okay, let's check if it finally picked up the sensor now. So weather is working. Uh, it was last updated 22, 2012. This is when the system rebooted. So it's, it's, um, still not, it's, it's, it's not working. Now we have sensor missing completely. Ugh. Now I will have to, I will have to, I will have to. Let's do it like this. Moonuki go to trash. Nuki is deleted. We are, we are nuking Nuki. Uh, did it reload? Yeah, did it reload it? Uh, states, um, weatherman, but it's empty now. Oh, but it's empty. On the other hand, it did reload just now. Well, let's, let's, let's. Let's now restart Home Assistant. I apologize, but restarting. I hate restarting so much, but. But looks it, it should now work. I removed Nuki, it, and the only thing left left in the in the configuration file is uh, this part here. We have replaced this to update every minute, and we have replaced this forecast entity with forecast weather home. So this has been fixed and in the automation, um, there are actually two automations. Let me remove one. Oh, it's updating. So, um, we will get it working. We will get it working. And by the way, when, when I was mentioning, when I was mentioning the Elgato, I have here green screen. It's not terribly expensive, but it is expensive. It is that like pop up screen which is in the long metallic box you open it and then you roll it up and it, it's great and it it's not cheap but it's not that that expensive let's check how expensive it is actually i got the green screen so this one here collapsible collapsible chroma key panel Yeah, it's it's not that. It's like it's used. So a new one costs around 160. Oh wow! Yeah, here in Croatia it costs 260, but I bought it from outside. Got free shipping, so it it was around 200 euros. So that let, let's call this something that I use daily when I record videos, when I do streams. I have green screen because besides me, people walk. Kids have my rooms, my bedroom, toilet, sorry, bathroom, everything is behind my back. This is open space. And the hooks on it broke after one month. I uh, did RMA, uh, $160. Yeah, but in Europe, it's $160 US and it's okay. Blah. So, um, so I did RMA on it. Uh, they wanted me to send photos. I created, I got a couple of photos of it. They said, yeah, sure, we will send you a new one. 
you have to destroy the old one and you destroy it by writing on it with the black marker number of the RMA and you have to take a photo of it. So I did it and I asked what to do with the old one. They said, do whatever you want. Go to recycle, use it, give it away, whatever. The new one arrived after a couple of months, the same two hooks broke. So I have now one that is broken with the RMA number on it and the other one that is broken that I'm using. Yeah, if 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 I would pay gladly 300 euros for something that wouldn't break. That's my point here. They're not cheap in terms of equipment. Each of those lights I have here, I have more lights than a Christmas tree. And actually from the three lights, I'm using only one now. And I'm, I'm sorry that I bought those additional two ones. Sorry for the rent. Um, it's restarting, it has restarted. Yeah, I said 200, 180, so yeah, it's very, very close. To oh, oh, yeah. Steven, we have data. Uh, but now we must push data to... Uh, you know, Pedro, I agree, but as I said, I just want those things to work. Uh, these arms are falling apart. Uh, I had issues with the camera, which are now okay. I had issues with the stands. Uh, the boom of the arm is falling down, so something like that. No, unfortunately, these are the metal hooks that have to close the lid and you have to carry everything by that. So we have data here. Um, let's go check automation. Let's go check automations. I think they have now, for some reason, two automations. uh let's let's disable this one i don't know what's the difference <laughs> um i'm looking i'm looking also on uh, uh, on that info i'm also looking where to find them i think that ebay may be the best place to buy it i will be browsing to the discord server and seeing where people are getting their own so this one is this. Let's run it. Let's go to the. Let's go to the. It's still not. Uh, no, it's still not. Oh yeah, 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 it is pushing. It is pushing. We will now have. Finally, uh, on this screen here, we should see forecast. So this one has that batteries. Here we drag and drop the image. This is the counter to the to the Christmas, and this one should now update in 22 seconds. 20 seconds. It updated. No. Nope. It yeah, it did, it did. Yeah. That's it. Uh, yeah, they, they just, they just res it, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. I don't, we don't need to push. Force refresh, no, no. It's here. <laughs> I'm afraid to pull on this. It will. Okay, so we have... I managed to turn off the, the I'm currently powering I have problem with the power I don't have too many I have too many I have too many I have too many uh, USB devices entering device everything here on the desk so I have to I was powering this while the Redmi power bank and it will probably last a week okay nice so we have counter we have image we have uh, weather we have one that's not working and uh, for the video that will be released next Tuesday I will try to compress this in a little in, in, in manageable form to 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 to, to um, not to put off people of uh, buying things like that to all of you once again the link to the Tindy store where you will maybe be able to buy one last additional one last batch of those gateways 
but from what I've heard, the uh, there are no more spare displays, at least not those two points, whatever. Let's go to Tindy Store. Let's Tinder. Let's go to Tindy Store. Uh, um, give me a second. My brain is not working. So, um, as I said, I bought this one with four displays. Um, there was previously option to buy additional displays, additional sizes. I decided I decided to go uh, for 2.9. There are also 1.54 inches. And um, I'm really not sure, but as I said, I will be checking out the Discord server. I am there on Discord server. The Discord server is actually called ATC1441. If anybody wants, I will be posting a link. Um, uh, um, invite people, um, copy link then finding where my chat is pasting it and this is the link to the discord server i will browsing because there are really awesome projects there uh, i don't have anything else to to add I really have fun. I really had fun with them. I will be I will be creating a couple of scenarios and automations for these and I, I will try to get my hands on some other some other sizes. But I, I'm I, what I've seen I, I, I I've seen posts that somebody is hacking the 11.8 version from some other vendor and it work it's working. Um, I will definitely ask on Discord where to get these plays because I would like to get some a bit bigger, but also some a little bit smaller than these ones to just like pop around the pop around the apartment to have it, you know, just like doing different stuff. And I ha I really like the idea of creating more complex automations where one display can have multiple purposes based on the context and and current timestamp and the events going on or triggers. To have different different times of the different different content depending on a different type of the day, etc. Um, uh, Steven, thank you once again for being here. Um, Jonas, thank you for pushing me by nudging me and and, and contacting me. Um, as I said, this really was my idea to do for a long, long, long time, and now I have whole weekend to play with it, um, and also have whole weekend to 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 print parts for the um, what's this this is I think ERCF this is the multi-material unit for the Voron um, yeah um, um, I I'm using that one I will be I will be pushing the I love the icons everything oh. Oh. Uh, is it in this instance? No, maybe it's in this one. Um, and here I have this. But yeah, as I said, um, I will be I will be definitely playing playing a bit more with this. Um, next stream will be building of stealth press uh, because I need it for future streams. If nobody knows, if anybody knows what stealth press is, stealth, uh, stealth press. Um, nope, stealth press. This one here. So I need to build stealth press so we can work on future projects. Stealth press, <laughs> it is like oxymoron. This is device that helps you insert heat set inserts into plastic for 3D printed parts. And in order for you to build this item, you need to insert, I think, 30 inserts. So you need something to insert this to build machine that will help you insert something but nevertheless 
uh once again thank you all for joining the stream thank you all for support uh thank you thank you for hanging out with me um it was actually much easier i apologize for the automations as i said my systems testing systems are mess we would be sooner uh, we would be done sooner with the stream or with the testing of the of the weather if i would just remove um nuke integration from the beginning um uh, and i i really do hope that uh a lot of you who haven't played with the open e paper will try it will try the the try oh yeah uh there are a lot of documentation for that there is um what is it i have so many windows uh this one here i will also be posting this link here Uh, actually, you have ton of information of this link here. You can see uh, parts needed, mini access point, flasher access point, flasher page, text pass, text troubleshooting, everything. You can go here on mini access points, um, not in this link, I think on the other one, and see the comparison between various access points. La, 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 la. Uh, difference between var various access points uh, some are using e text for this place our others are using tft screens and then also there are some open source projects that uh, will uh, uh, that there you can find the gerber files uh, schematics everything so if you can also build your own uh, so yeah there are a lot of things that you can play with them and and i really do really do like this project thanks once again for streaming uh, it's now beer time for me the work week is over uh my wife is gone my two kids are gone i'm on all, all alone so i can program um thanks everybody for joining and i will be seeing you next time bye bye and have fun